Yeah. <laughs> a few. I feel like maybe we should be here. Hey, Geeks Rally here, and thanks for joining me today as we play some more Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, we are on the Geeks Patreon storyline server, and we are wrapped up. All the Geeks have made it through the battles that need to make it through. Uh, so everyone's kind of just getting prepped now. They're picking out spots in Aberration for us to start building our base location. Uh, kind of talking about how the CC is going to work. So before we are out of this place, I thought it'd be nice to maybe go through and check out some of the cool homes and stuff that... Uh, uh, the geeks had built here we kind of talked about this early on that it'd be nice to kind of just kind of walk through and see what's going on so we are here uh at the steps that's the place we came up uh that's where we just kind of trapped everything we came through the the from the red obelisk over through the little pathway and then came through here and then came up here and decided to build like kind of a road set and then like a, a little set of um i'll show you guys where we're at there again uh, just a little, like a little community kind of feel. Now, some of these are, um, we, uh, Cad and Alexandria, I think, are the ones that kind of just built some extra homes, kind of just to fill everything out, because not as many geeks actually built, uh, built homes and stuff here, which is, you know, it was, it was fine, but it was neat. So I kind of went through and did all that stuff. So, uh, uh -huh. so we got the pie here, not cake, pie. Very cool. This is in like I didn't get to use all of the stuff from the the mod. Honestly, I didn't get to do as much as I thought. Uh, we went through this way faster than I expected. Um, but yeah, so we've got you know to use some plots out here. Is this? <laughs> Just standing there looking real creepy, man. <laughs> so there's two doors for us. There's a little way up. It looks like. I feel like I'm intruding a little bit. Got the, got the, the shotgun shells and the little shotguns out. I really feel like I'm intruding now. <laughs> oh, it's a little like saloon up top. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, by the way, I didn't actually... We, we jumped up here before. This is Job's. Um, and I said that it was going to be super hot in here. He actually double layered the walls. So it's Adobe on the inside, which means you get the heat... Uh, insulation benefit oh here's the fun the fun issue with adobe on moving things like uh, rafts or parasers is that the texture moves on the outside of them sometimes <laughs> you can see it on the ladder it's moving like all active camouflage but yes yeah, so he double layered them so uh, it's metal on the outside which means that it's super strong but you get the uh, heat insulation by having the adobe on the inside so definitely works out in the desert heat right, let's shoot to the uh We'll go to the end and we'll kind of work our way back then. So uh, it looks like Lizzie uh, is taking some advantage of the real estate around the end of the house here. She's got herself some coffins. We can just lay inside. We'll take a little nap in there. Uh, a little bulletin board. This is all stuff from the uh, from our deco mod that we have on here. Uh, which is I think from the Gunsmoke. I think it's Gunsmoke RP mod type stuff. Lizzie Sandy Cliff. Sam, Sam, Sandy Cliff. I, I don't think that she probably put down those traps that I, I put some traps down at one point when I was messing with her. I don't think she put them back down, so we're probably safe. <laughs> that triceratops is awesome. Nice little wall art. Got some cool chairs over here around the, the, old, uh, the old metal stove to keep you warm at night. Bunch of beans. Okay. Go up here a little bit. <laughs> This robe Lizzie just doing her, her pretzel thing. That is a really cool painting. That's awesome. Yeah, this looks great. Look at all these little, like, like nice touches of paint. I think these are from the mod, I think. Uh, and then these are obviously the ones from Ark that you can do. Nice little desk. <laughs> we were joking about the fact that the tub uh, doesn't have texture for the water, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, very nice, cool little view out here. Looking out the backside. Um, I think we've got a, yeah, like a little deck area. You gotta check out. Ooh. It's nice. Okay. This way. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I see the chair. <laughs> oh, closed doors. All right. Uh, so some of these 
like you said, we'll see their model houses. They kind of just built some framework and kind of put some stuff up just to kind of have a nice full spell. <laughs> That's the thing to wake up to in the morning, man. Got a Thyla over here. This is another uh, non-claim. So these are just kind of like empty that they just kind of put stuff in just to put them in. But, you know, kind of nice little finished off. I like the little wall here in the front. Uh, the Adobe works really well for that kind of like that look. Hello, Wolfie with the green paws. Uh, this is Noel's house. Got a little, a little wolf right here too. Garden the way. And, and garden the garden, I guess. All right, uh, in we go. Oh yeah, the, oh he's got his house populated. There's people in here. Is this cool for me to be chilling, guys? <laughs> nice little, uh, nice little like poker table-ish kind of thing. I know it's not a poker table, but yeah. <laughs> a few, I feel like maybe we shouldn't be in here. This is one of the, the mirrors that uh, got introduced to Scorch Earth originally. They don't always seem to work like they're supposed to, but they are neat. The Voss. There's Noel, actually, in crazy suit form. These are cool. Wow, look at that thing. Wow, okay. Whew. Little desk over here, out looking at the, the rest of the neighborhoods. Probably doing real creepy watching people watching stuff that's a taming journal for um that's a weird wood texture that's a taming journal from uh, immersive taming and then we've got uh, a bit of a landing pad ish kind of place up top which of course has some crazy wolves because why not manticore up top beautiful okay cool I'll leave this under yep that's a model this one is symbols den Always causing trouble, that symbol. <laughs> Got a fridge in here, some storage. Sleeping back here. This is, I'm pretty sure this is Symbol's native environment. She's an Australian, so uh, the the scorching heat of this desert, I'm sure, is right at home. <laughs> nice little overhang area to kind of check out. This is one of the things I like the most about, like, um, like the Adobe stuff is it lends itself a lot to like flat, uh, flat lines and or like straight lines and flat areas. So I think it kind of lends itself nice to having like a little, uh, like veranda type things you can kind of just hang out on. Nice little spot up top here on the roof. Again, kind of like a landing platform, uh, upper deck kind of area, which is neat. Okay, unclean. Oh, this is the tavern. Okay, let's go in here. <laughs> See, this is the cool thing with this uh, this gun smoke mod is there's a whole bunch of stuff like this in here, but you get like the really big um, bars and that kind of stuff, which is neat. That's kind of what drew us to this one uh, in the first place. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Then there's a little extra upstairs. <laughs> the logs are fun. You can sit on these, I think, too, right? Yep, I'll just sit here and look into my corner, I guess. <laughs> Are these like the benches where you can do it from either side? Uh, no, nope, they are directional. Okay. This is pretty neat. What's up here? Oh, a little desk type area. For the barkeep. This is the barkeep, so decided. Neat, okay. Let's head down and uh, back out. Let's, little squidge there. The model house. I yeah, cool. This one is uh, Alexandria's. I, I'm i a big fan of using like the ladders and stuff for that textural difference. I always like that look. Oh, a nice little raised platform bed up in here. Oh, it's storage underneath. That's pretty smart. I dig it. Oh, jeez. I dig that. <laughs> little desk on the side. That's awesome. Ooh, ooh. Good choice. You can see Alexander has been uh, pushing the, uh, been really rocking the the manticore stuff. Oh, there's, ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, there's a way up inside. I just didn't see it. Right as we walked in. Okay. A little garden, a little rooftop garden, and then uh, yeah, the manticore flags because uh, she's been working her butt off at this stuff. Um, okay. Can I? Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna just. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Cat has gone on quite a few of the uh, the caving things by herself just to get a whole bunch of the uh, the trophies we need to run all the Manticore stuff. I like she's got the little she sunk in the uh, the doors to give her that like gate look. Casa de Cat. 
Nice flanking of the uh, the garden area out there. A little fireplace, keeping it nice. Nice and homey. I dig it. The building prowess of the geeks is always just amazing to me. Like they do such a great job with this stuff. Very cool. I like the little dust stuff. The the wood grain's a little weird on the gun smoke mod for some of this stuff, but the uh, but they do some really good job. Oh look, the flowers actually move too. Huh. Well, that's awesome. Okay. Very nicely done. Uh, Jayla. Jay was on too much. Yeah. <laughs> She's just hovering. <laughs> she was on uh, at least long enough to stick me in a hut in the sky because I know that was Jayla. <laughs> Uh, Mentu made a uh, a little spot for his, um, he made like a little like garage essentially for his uh, Parasur, which he was using as like kind of a mobile base operation deal, which is pretty cool. I imagine there's a little, oh, yeah, let's a little place in there to sleep. It's awesome. Uh, you guys have seen my place. I put the, the flag up in the, in the uh, trophy. Uh, I haven't got to do much in here, unfortunately. I had to break my bed today because I couldn't move out of it. Uh, but just basic the painting and all that kind of stuff. Nothing too crazy for any of this. And then, of course, uh, Hops is up here. Okay, let's go this way. Ooh. This is another... <laughs> it looks... <laughs> it's just... Like, I know they were dragging geeks out of the, the CC that have get, get logged out in there and just putting them in houses, but putting them in the pine boxes, it's a little creepy. <laughs> I Don't get me wrong. I love it. <laughs> it's just funny because it was unexpected. This is Lies Place. Nice. With the hitching post outside. I think we saw from our, uh, our lower... Balcony we can see into Lai's room uh, at one point, which is a little weird. Oh, she's sleeping. I can hear and The death worm trophy up there some bookshelves little stove, uh, you know metal stove deal manticore face But yeah, you can you can totally from our breakfast spot just look in here and see <laughs> See Lai just fall asleep up here Felt a little creepy when I saw that the first time <laughs> uh, This one is CB's I like the double, the double stack door, and that it has the the drop down, because that's one of the things I liked about where I built was I could do the little drop down bit for it, uh, and kind of have a little open space for it. Nice big window to see out into the uh, the awesomeness here. That's one of the reasons I like the side I picked too, is that I like to kind of look down like into this gorgeous area, which is gorge-ish. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Oh, bird butt, hey, buddy. It's a nice little section up here too. Cool. I don't think I can jump over that, so I guess we're going back towards the bird butt. Can we get down here? Wait, can I just go this way? <laughs> yep. Okay, there we go. A little model for us. Is this a model? That's a nice looking... It's got a good layout for this. Man, that's a lot of space. Well done. Uh, mod look in. I assume this is an actual home because there's a lot, a lot of Manticore flags. Hack did some work here. I like the little, oh, I like the catwalk as your way in. The, the, the foundation's lowered down. That's a cool idea. Oh, with the glass. Dude, look at this. That's fancy. Hack's over here. He's got his map. He's got his mysterious, his mysterious empty frame. Okay. We've got a bar. <clears throat> Proper. Good work. It's a door back here. Just a little... Oh, neat. There's a little space back here. Looking down on the, the little ruins and the rest of the... There's a little bit of water down there. Okay. That's up the stairs. Oh, we got... Hold on. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Nice little space up here, too. Oh, wait. There's stairs there. Uh, okay. A little couch down. Got himself a little tower bed up here. It's pretty slick. That is pretty slick. I'm gonna, yeah, okay. Yep, I'm just crouching a bunch to get out of the doors though. Nice. Oh, snow, that's right. Snow built uh, like down 
Uh, so you built down uh, in the cliff area. So you got a little, little pathway down with uh, cacti and trophies and such. Oh, you gotta go under the death worm, ma. Ugh. Get out of here. Look at the beetles. And then, um, can I, can I get to the, I'm gonna fall? Okay. <laughs> then you, you, you climb down into her house, <laughs> which is neat. Bunch of nice use of the decor and stuff down here. Personal fridge. The, the sunken doors again to give yourself a little kind of cool gateway out. Let's take a seat. Oh, that's a great view too. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, I was afraid I was going over the edge for a second. Oh, let me get in there. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we do. Oh, but well, there's no one calling it. Well, fine. And then, what's, what's this? This is a little canvas deal. That's cool. I actually used the cables to make it look like it's kind of being like suspended. That's kind of what we did for our, uh, the little landing platform on our uh, Crystal Isle deal. Well, outhouse. I hear you can get stuck in these. I think I did that once and couldn't get back out very easily. So I've got to be a little careful. This is something I didn't know was in the mod. So by the way, if you are looking for a cool decor mod, but don't want something super cheaty to give people water for free on Scorched Earth, don't put this mod in. <laughs> Because I did not know there was a well to give people free water and had specifically made it so we had to like get water and then we found I found that later on so whoops <laughs> that's how it goes uh and in all honesty getting water early on in Scorched is the hard part after a little bit it's not too bad just climbing up this ladder got a little jerby up there too I dig it nice work Okay, out we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. This, is this miss? Is this, no, oh, miss is across the way. Uh huh. Kamish. Okay, that's right. Kamish and I were trying to figure out how to make this work down here with the uh, thing. The uh, catwalk was a good idea. We were kind of supporting it with a bunch of weird stuff, trying to make it happen. Uh, again, the tub with no texture. A nice little uh, landing platform up here, which I dig. Good use of the spiral staircase. This is the first place we got spiral staircases in Ark as well, was in uh, Scorched Earth. I like it. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Misplaced. Uh, good use of the uh, the staircase on the front to kind of give that, uh, that open that open slope look. I always like that. Nice open space in here. Good storage. Feel feel nice and you know like you got you got a little safe safe haven to work from. Creepy wyvern. Oh, I like the. Is how do we get that look? Is that a trophy base then? Is that I mean, it's a taxidermy base. You can make it look like. Can you make it look like Adobe? That's cool. I don't know how to do that. So, uh, well, let's do this. Structure variants. Nope, that was the ceiling I was looking at, apparently. Animation, next pose, options, scale. Hmm. Is it just that the the base is so large it's covering up these pieces? Because that isn't like a it's not a full half ceiling up. That's kind of what I'm just trying to figure out what they're doing for that piece. Well, a mystery that Mist will have to explain to us at some point. Well, let's turn this back off. Here's Webby's place. I think the the white on the outside, white parchment maybe. I think. Uh, the, the, the old double door. Actually, it's a door and a half. Neat. Right? Yeah, door and a half, I think. Awesome. Get a little more water because we can. I dig it. Nice little nice little storage area. Nice kind of like open setup. And then upstairs. We got our, our master bedroom up here. Nice view again outside. Oh, very nice. Look at that. 
Plus, you can see the the, the tail end of the uh, the street there. Nice. Uh, and this is uh, Eden's, I think, which is uh, Webby's son. Nice. Look at that. I like the I love the the mix of like the metal and glass too. Good work. Plus this plus a gateway up top to your uh, your wyvern of doom. Beautiful. Uh, and then we're gonna kind of come back and touch base and some of this stuff here too. This is the uh, the respawn hut ish thing. It's where we put like the trophies and everything. So you can see now that they've got the manticore uh, head over there, and then we've got the bosses from uh, the island there. And they've got manticore up there. So every uh, and all the flags for them. So every every server that we do this stuff on, there's gonna just be more of this. <laughs> so it's gonna be awesome. But so there's a bunch of um, this is where we kind of keep all of the the beds and stuff. So when we're doing boss fights, you can just respawn there and get all your stuff back, uh, or you know pick up the stuff you need to. But this is where we kind of keep all the the stuff that they've been making and crafting for the boss fights. Um, and then we've been in here before, um, but I it, I told you at one point. Um, how many fridges uh, could fit in here and I I don't know if you totally believed me so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna show you <laughs> so uh, storage has uh, increased as we went so there's more and more stuff kind of stored out here now you see all this stuff two different ammos and stuff oh the sheep pen got built which uh, was kind of put in here at one point there was a bunch of sheep uh, down in here uh, they've been used to make uh, much much foods uh, which is part of the reason we have the uh, the stuff up top, um, and then there was a bunch of storage down here for um, the the pelt and all the other stuff as it was being used. Uh, so we've got fridges down here, which is like the ones you need for like polymer and that kind of stuff. Some crafting things, some tech pyrosaur eggs and stuff. And we kind of looked at all this stuff before. Uh, the crafting area. This all the stuff for transfer to aberration. Is it in here? Nope. They have. Pick, oh, maybe. Yeah, they picked out their gear to be transferred. They are going with the chainsaw. Good, good choice. Uh, we've got to put the... i got to do uh, element for them still for this one. We've got this. Um, yeah, okay. Communications. So they just kind of kept a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Oh, some of this is automatically built in. This is the, the stuff they're taking with them. Uh, and then the manticore head, of course. So this is the stuff for us to transfer. Uh, this was the gigantic crafting area that was used. Oh, there's more stuff up there too. That's extra storage for the stuff they had to make for the uh, the saddles and stuff, I imagine. Or it's just extra storage in general too. Man, we yep. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, refrigerators. Again, remember I told you that they could fit a lot of refrigerators, right? Like a lot of them. So uh, it got to the point that as they were making stuff, they had to just increase some grill uh, usages to be able to cook all the meat for what they needed to do because they were raising Rexes like crazy. So uh, fridge-wise, <clears throat> uh-huh. Yep, so remember I said it could fit like a whole bunch of fridges? Well, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> so all the different cooked primes all the different there's fish meat there's kippa legs like all the stuff up here and then there's lamb chops upon lamb chops upon lamb chops upon lamb chops <laughs> so yeah um we're good on food <laughs> oh be honey uh and then up through this oh yeah there's more up here that's right <laughs> Uh, and then up here at the very, very top was the garden that Cat was building. A uh, little sectioned off and stack kind of stuff for it. Poop and paste. That's, that's the most important room of the entire place right there. The old poop and paste factory. Uh, but yeah. Check that out, man. Good little view. Uh, I guess we can go do a quick final look at the, uh, the rest of that over there, too. Let's go around the corner here. Mm -hmm. Downwards. Outwards, downwards, and outwards. Uh, so at the, uh, as we kind of got going, they had, you know, spots out here. 
there's some spots over there we'll get to in just a second but we had uh the personal flyers and that kind of stuff for the big woofers and stuff they put out we have the, the wood platforms out here so we could park their uh their creatures so those are the cc flyers up there and then people had their personal ones up on this side everyone just kind of tagged their stuff and then uh, over across the way this was uh, a bunch of storage for uh, this is the sheeps were up there uh, my mantry of farming uh, the Jerboa house like all this stuff was kind of where we like we kind of farmed the stuff up or the you know the rest of the geeks really did they farmed all the stuff up and and bred as they needed to um, the big breeding project happened up there uh, which we'll get to in just a second this is where all the work dinos kind of got kept so they're just kind of stored up here in this section uh, and they got put back when they were done our haulers um, this was uh, <clears throat> the murder fields <laughs> so this is when people had to level up um, they would take the uh, the leftover uh, eggs uh, that were from the breeding projects these ones specifically were the ones that got used um, and they would throw down a whole bunch of rexes and murder them <laughs> it's horrible but you get tons of xp from it so that's kind of what that was used for uh, to make sure you got everyone up to level 90 that you need to do for the uh, the alpha mantis you can see we've got some uh, turrets up here they were up here to keep all the stuff safe this place has been had been brimmed with dinos that were going through the breeding projects as these guys were all working on stuff. Dusty specifically did a ton of work on the Rexes and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so this place was just stocked full of Rexes all the time as they worked on that kind of stuff. Uh, they by the way, the different colors uh, for the torches were for different types of uh, food and stuff that went in there. So it was an easy way to tell which ones had what in it. Uh, it looks like they're still doing some Lightning Weaver and stuff. I think yesterday some of the geeks went through and did uh, a Manticore fight with... Um, lightning wyverns which i have not i didn't unfortunately I had to work so i couldn't do that too but uh but yeah that's that's kind of the basics let's get back to uh let's get back over here very nice but yeah i really enjoyed this like this part of the build was really neat to me they did everyone the geeks did a fantastic job on the trophy hut the like all the little builds and pieces the the actual like tower cc turned out amazing like i really dig it um and obviously the breeding area looks great but like the little thoroughfare with uh housing was really neat like i i really liked how this turned out i'm just kind of having like a little you know little thoroughfare you could just run down and kind of run past everyone's houses it really drives that community vibe uh, for the area like this, which I thought was a lot of fun. So it was really neat though. I really enjoyed that we kind of got to do this the way we did and kind of everyone just kind of like came together and did a great job for all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we're pretty much on to Aberration. I think we've been talking about different options for the Aberration CC. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, one of the last CCs that we did on Aberration, uh, we had like uh, cliffside platforms and we connected everybody's houses up, that kind of stuff. We're going to do something similar, I think. Uh, and then maybe, I don't know if they're going to do the tower again or something like the tower um, for, uh, for the actual like where everything's built and that kind of stuff. Uh, or like the crafting areas and stuff like that. But yeah, whoo. Uh, we're working on the dates right now, but, uh, I'm thinking that Aberration is going to probably come, uh, at the end, just at the end of the month. Uh, we'll do, we'll probably do a live stream again for the death run. Uh, but yeah, this, that's been scorched earth on the storyline. We, we kind of blew through this. And I guess at this point, I kind of expect us to do similar stuff for the rest of the servers because the, um... There's not like a ton of bosses. I guess Extinction, we're going to have a couple bosses to take on all at one time, uh, kind of in a row. But yeah, I mean, you know, for Aberration, it's just Rockwell. So uh, we'll probably have a, a shorter stay over there too. But Aberration's next band. It's been a while since I got to start an Aberration. I really enjoy that map. So this ought to be fun. If you guys... Uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff, you know, you can always join us uh, at patreon.com slash you're out of the geek. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content. And we'll, uh, we'll catch you in aberration, guys. 